Hey, what's going on guys? Moth Marauder here and welcome back to another edition of my figure review series. For today's episode, we're we are going to be taking a look at the 2003 Godzilla figure made by NECA. So anyways, let's start off with detail. Now, when it comes to detail, this is really nicely done. Um, as you can see, uh, it's very nicely sculpted or like I said, it's very nicely detailed. You have all these scales all over the body because because, you know, obviously he's a lizard. But like I said, um, well, just there's a ton of detail over, all over the body with, like I said, the scales. And it looks really nicely done. Like um, on the neck, the face, the chest, um, and the arms, the legs, uh, the feet, and the tail. It's very, very nicely done. You have the dorsal plates, which look um, really, really nice. I think they should be a little bit, um, um, I shouldn't say sharp, but I think they should be a, um, a little bit more, it's hard to explain, but they should be a little bit more sharper than this. But this on its own is actually really nice looking, if that makes any sense. So yeah. Um, you have a scar on his chest, which looks really cool. You have all this detail in the neck. And uh, let's take, let's take a look at his face here. It's really nicely done. Uh, you have his fangs, pissed off look on his face. Um, let's see here. Come on, there we go. I'm trying to get this damn thing to focus. Okay, so yeah, there's the inside of the mouth. You have the tongue, the teeth and all that. So yeah, he looks really pissed off, you know? I mean, like he should be. I don't think I've ever seen Godzilla happy, honestly. But yeah, just really nicely done um, with the sculpt and all that. And, well, yeah. Um, and like I said, um, sides from the scales and all that, the dorsal plates are, like I said, they're really nicely done. There's the tail right there. So yeah. Uh, the sculpting on this figure is fucking amazing, in my opinion. And the paint job is also really good. He's this uh, dark gray color, like he should be. Uh, the scar is red, or this darkish, dirty red color. Um, I think the scar itself should be gray as well, but this looks fine, honestly. The claws on his hands and feet are this dirty yellow color. Um, and as well as uh, the teeth, they're also this dirty yellow color. The tongue is the same color as the scar and the eyes um, have the same dirty yellow color and the pupils are black. The dorsal plates um, have this nice bone color with, you know, black in the middle. And that looks really nice. So, yeah, paint job is also really nicely done. Now, let's move on to articulation. Um, being a NECA figure, he has a lot of points of articulation. Uh, the arms move like that. They can move the elbows like that. And they can rotate the hands. And the hands themselves can actually fold, if that makes any sense. Like, they can fold in and out like that. Like if he's uh, gesturing someone to, you know, go over to where he's at. So that way Godzilla can whoop its ass. So yeah. Same thing with this arm, of course. That'd be fucking weird if only one arm could move. That'd be fucking weird. But yeah. Same type of articulation with this arm as well. So, yeah. Let's see. And as you saw earlier, the mouth can open up or open and close like that. Oh, and um, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, um, his eyes are kind of shaped or not shaped. The eyes are kind of weird looking. He looks, his eyes look weird. Like they're like, um, I'm not sure how you describe it, but it looks like his eyes aren't um it looks like he's not looking at you that's the thing 
but yeah, aside from that, um, uh, details really, well, details fine and all that. But yeah, aside like from the eye thing, the details really nicely done. But anyways, back onto articulation. Yeah, um, arms move and all that shit. Mouth opens and closes. And uh, the head can move like that. I don't, it might, or it could go 360, but I don't want to risk that and break it. So, yeah, but it can, you know, move and all that. It can have its head move up and down. Uh, this part can move right here. Uh, let's see. The waist can move. Uh, has limited movement with the waist, but can still move. The legs. The legs can... There we go. Legs are very fucking stiff. I would assume they... I would assume they go 360, but they're such a pain in the ass. So, yeah. But the feet can rotate 360 just fine. So, yeah. They can move up and down a little bit. Although not much. Okay, here's the tail. Moves like that. You can bend. Let's see. All right, I just counted how many points of articulation the tail has, and it has fucking nine points of articulation. Holy shit. That's a lot for a, uh, you know, a Godzilla figure. Or at least um, for the ones that I've reviewed. So yeah, I mean, holy shit, nine points of articulation. That's fucking crazy. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for articulation. He has a shitload. He has a neck of figure after all. So yeah. And now let's do uh, size comparisons really quick. Let's see. Let's pair him up with Kiryu. So yeah, as you can, as you can see, uh, Kiryu dwarfs Godzilla. Obviously, they should be facing, or obviously Kiryu should be looking directly at Godzilla and not tower over him. But yeah, um, this is a Bandai figure, so I would assume that would make sense, but I don't know. Maybe the other Bandai Kiryu figures are a little bit shorter, but who knows. Just thought I'd show you a quick comparison. So yeah, that's it for size comparisons. And now onto rarity. Um, if you can't find this guy at, like, your local Walmart or Target or whatever, I, of course, like I've said before many fucking times, I recommend you find this guy on Amazon. Um, so, yeah. I would assume he goes for about 20 to $40. That's just my best guess, but who knows. But, yeah. Overall, uh, he should be kind of pricey or expensive, but common to find, although nowhere as expensive as SH Monster Arts figures. Prices for those figures are fucking ridiculous. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for rarity. Um, while he should be common, he's also probably going to be expensive. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Overall, this is one of my favorite Godzilla figures. And as well as, as uh, the 2003 Godzilla here being my most favorite Godzilla design of all time. So, yeah. Well, 2002, 2003 Godzilla, those are my, that's my favorite most favorite Godzilla design of all time. He's just so fucking awesome and badass, in my opinion. So yeah, overall, like I said, one of my, one of my, well, definitely one of my favorite Godzilla figures. So yeah, and do I recommend this figure? Absolutely. If you can't afford the ridiculously, you know, expensive SH Monster Arts figures, I of course would recommend you get this NECA one. So yeah, he'll be an amazing addition to your collection. So that's pretty much it for this review. Detail and paint job are, are amazing. He has a lot of articulation. Rarity is he should be common, but kind of pricey. And uh, that's pretty much it. In the end, I give Godzilla an easy five out of five. I mean, uh, his eyes, the way his eyes are positioned to make him look kind of huh? weird. But aside from that, this is an awesome figure and I love it. So yeah, easy five out of five. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.